morning guys, my name is Alex and welcome to the last Photoshop tutorial of the day. In this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how to use the quick selection tool and guys, before you're going to comment like, dude, what's wrong and what's like, why are you making a tutorial about how to use the quick selection tool? Well, there are a few things you can do with the selection tools. I'm going to show you guys how to get started with like using it. So I would say let's get started. Okay, right, so as you can see, we're on Photoshop again. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the quick selection tool to show you guys what it does. So what you want to do is, of course, you want to go to the top and you want to pick the quick selection tool. So as you guys can see right now, we have three options right here. So basically the middle one is to select anything that you like. Basically that is selected. So let's say you want to copy something. You just want to select this, press control C, make a new layer right there, press control V and you have a second logo of OBS. So that's one thing that this quick selection tool does. You can actually do really cool stuff. Uh, like, like for example, the first one, you can do really cool stuff with it. You can duplicate stuff as you, like as many times as you like, as you can see by pressing control C and control V. So you can just place it how many times you like. You can do it with anything. Um, so I'm going to remove this layer and say I'm going to press, let's say I'm going to select X2 and I'm going to press Control C, make a new layer, Control V, and we have just the new freaking, we have the same thing. And as you guys can see, there's nothing like an outline. It's really simple. You want to just go to the right click on the layer options, go to stroke, as you can see right there. So it adds a nice outline. Also adds a nice little glow and shadow. And we have actually two times the same, you know, the entire thing. So that's basically one thing that the quick selection tool does. That's what I use as well to move things around and to remove things and anything like that. So you can even remove stuff. Let's say if you want to, you know, remove only like X2, what you want to do is you just want to select it and you want to press just delete. And as you can see right now, we have the parts delete. <clears throat> and as you can see, this is transparent. So now we have, we have something else. So you can actually put something else underneath it. So let's say we're going to add in like a red image. As you can see, like a red, nice image. If you put that underneath it, the text is actually that color. So that's something really cool that the quick selection tool does. Like you can remove the background and then you can, you, you know you can you can remove what's in there and then you can put anything underneath it that's actually a really cool thing that the quick selection tool does you can also do it like with obs like if you want to just go to this quick selection tool again right there at the top just go to your um my main layer just select everything in the obs logo everything and what you want to do is press delete and you have also the circle with the background so that's that's something really cool that the quick selection tool does as you can see and you can also like refine the edges a little bit you can take your time to do that for the sake of this video i'm not going to do all that so as you can see it removes like anything you like and you can just put anything underneath it and you can move things around that's the same with this guys that's something that's how you use the quick selection tool you just select everything go ahead and do whatever you like and it's that simple there's like nothing more to tell you guys about the quick selection tool so this that's what that's what i use as well to move things around or remove things and and put something else underneath here like another background it's that freaking simple though those are the easiest things guys what you can do is just press ctrl z and then it goes everything goes back into place as you can see right there boom everything is back deselect but you can also just move things around in the frame. So let's say we're going to move the OBS logo and remove it from its place. Just select everything, press control and hold it. And you can just move anything around. I'm going to also, you know, select this part right there. So without, so you can actually move things around. You can just delete stuff. It's that simple. It's really, it's really, it's really awesome tool to use to do whatever you like. And I would say that's how simple it is. There's nothing more to show you guys. This is so easy. This is a requested one. You guys asked for it. There you go. So that's how simple it is guys. That's how you use the quick selection tool so thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button down below for more videos and i want to thank you guys for almost 27 and a half thousand subscribers it's crazy guys yeah thank you guys enough so thank you guys and i'll see you guys tomorrow